a revolutionary greetings comrades i am abuto nicholas mabena please like in this youtube channel and subscribe thank you so much to all of you who are subscribers of this youtube channel we are now we have reached 10,000 subscribers thank you so much if you follow this youtube channel but you are not a subscriber please do subscribe so that you don't miss anything and many people continue to be sending me messages in my inbox asking questions about issues that uh, are answered in this youtube channel so i encourage all of you who follow this youtube channel to subscribe so that uh, you don't miss anything whether it's about permits whether it's politics whether it's social we talk about all these issues so most of the questions that you're asking are already answered particularly on documentation of course in this video we want to talk about climate change. We are seeing now our TV screen, some of us who are in Southern Africa. Uh, fires have engulfed the rest of Europe. Uh, this might be an exaggeration, but the correct, <coughs> the correct thing is that uh, people in Europe, in, United, in the United States of America, are experiencing high temperatures. It is extremely hot. I was talking to my comrades in the UK. They are saying they've never had this heat since they arrived in the UK. It is extremely hot. Uh, it's over 40 degrees Celsius. So we are in the middle of a global warming. We saw fires. I was watching television last night. I saw houses burning in London. They just said, oh, outside London, houses were burning. So fires in Spain. People trying to get some, <clears throat> to warm themselves up, uh, uh, to cool themselves up, so to speak, to cool themselves up, getting into swimming pools. High temperatures are in France. I'm told the two people drowned, which is very sad, they drowned in a pool when they, they were trying to cool themselves. We are told that this, this heat wave is to move to Germany in the next few hours or few days. Heat waves in the United States, you have always seen fires in parts of the United States. So we are in the middle of global warming, comrades. And we need to take this seriously. We must protect our environment. Because the Earth is the only planet that we have. We are not billionaires ourselves. We cannot escape to another planet. So the only planet that we have is the Earth. And we must take care of this planet that we have. Climate change, for comrades who might not know what climate change is, climate change refers to significant long-term changes in the global climate. The global climate is the connected system of sun, earth and oceans, wind, rain and snow, forests, deserts and savannas, and everything people do too. The climate of a place, say New York, can be described as its rainfall changing temperatures during the year, and so on. We have seen in this part of the world floods in Deben recently. We are still recovering uh, from the floods in Deben. Uh, I was at the Congress of the Communist, South African Communist Party, <coughs> and its political report, uh, it said the Central Committee of the 14th uh, Congress, was that, uh, unfortunately, we are going to see more floods in Deben. Not only in Deben, in some parts of the country, in some parts of the continent. So it is critical that we take issues of climate change seriously. We must protect our environment. We have heard this in Zimbabwe and Manikaland. Floods caused by cyclone. I was posting well, the other day a photo 
of a lady who was born on a tree in Mozambique, if you remember, I think it was 1998 or thereabout. And the Mozambique is always affected by a cyclone. This is because of climate change. And when I speak to our commissar, he says to me, Comrade Mapena, if we're not careful, in the next few years, we'll not have Mozambique to be covered in water if we do not take action. Manikalen to be covered in water. Deben, as we know it, to be covered in water. It says Britain itself will be covered in water if we do not take action. So it's important, comrades, that we preserve our environment. As we're saying, the comrades in Europe, in the United States of America, are going through a heat wave. And we are saying we are in the middle of global warming. While comrades in Europe and in other parts of the world are experiencing these high temperatures, this heat wave, where I am recording from in Johannesburg, it is cold, though it is not extremely cold. But we know that when we get to our summer later in the year, we are likely to reach those temperatures as well. So it's an issue that we must take seriously. I'm told the town in England, is it Luton Town, has suspended or closed down its airport temporarily because the tarmac is, is melting. Aeroplanes cannot land. It has affected the railway line system. So this is very, very serious, comrades. So we need to take care of our environment. And we thank the comrades, young people in Manika land, who are planting trees as part of protecting the environment. We need to do more in our communities to protect our environment. I was working in the streets of Johannesburg earlier in the day. I was disappointed to see people eating bananas they just throw they peel off the banana and they throw in the street. We throw plastics everywhere. This is not correct. We need to keep our cities clean. We need to keep our towns clean. We need to keep our communities clean. All of us have a responsibility to take care of our environment. As I'm saying, this is the only planet that we have. If you throw a plastic, <coughs> just throw a plastic in any street, whether you're in Bulawa, you're in Manika, in Dimtare, you're in Johannesburg, that plastic, one way or the other, will get into the sea. And we know what uh, it means if these plastics get into the sea. So we have a responsibility, comrades, to educate one another about climate change. Let's look into the definition briefly of global warming because we are saying we are in the middle of global warming. Global warming is the slow increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere because an increased amount of the energy that is heat striking the Earth from the sun is being trapped in the atmosphere and not radiated out into space. The Earth's atmosphere has always acted like a greenhouse to capture the sun's heat, ensuring that the Earth has enjoyed temperatures that permitted the emergence of life forms as we know them, including humans. Without our atmospheric greenhouse, the Earth would be very cold as I'm saying, it's cold in Johannesburg, but it is not very cold. Global warming, however, is the equivalent of a greenhouse with a high efficiency reflective glass installed the wrong way around. That's global, global warming. So it's important, comrades, that we educate our communities about this. We need to carry out a campaign in our communities about climate change, about global warming. 
so that we take steps in protecting our environment. This must be included in our political education so that we preserve our environment, we protect our environment. This is a brief recording, but we will, in the next videos, talk about the attitude of governments to climate change. There's always talk <clears throat> around climate change by developed countries. It has become a talk show. We will look, look, uh, look into that in the next videos. Because all this is linked, or it has roots, to a capitalist economy. But we'll explain what we mean uh, when we always talk about saying capitalism is the root of all our <laughs> of all evil. Uh, those of you who read the Bible, we are told that man is the root of all evil. And we'll demonstrate scientifically why this has its roots uh, uh, in our capitalist economy. So that uh, uh, when, when we talk of an alternative to capitalism, which is socialism, a socialist economy, you will then appreciate and understand why we need to transit to a such socialist economy. Because so, so some of you, uh, uh, unfortunately, you are victims of imperialist propaganda. You are told that uh, socialism promotes lessness. But we'll discuss this question, the attitude of the developed world in taking care of our environment. Uh, we need to check one another, our friends uh, in UK, the rest of Europe, we saw fires in Spain. Uh, it's important that uh, uh, you try to keep warm, I mean cool, drink lots of water, because if you don't, you might actually die from this heat. I have not checked the latest news, but with this heat, which people are not used to, you might actually die from it. So it is in our interest that we protect our environment. It was in, in our interest that all of us will commit to protect our environment. We carry out a campaign to educate society about this challenge so that all of us will live, a, 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 so that all of us will protect our environment and they respond to these challenges. Please, if you are in, in uh, Europe, whether you are in Germany, you are in the UK, you are in Spain, you are in the United States, please share with us what is happening in your area. I'm told the uh, temperatures are over 40%, I mean over 40 degrees. Uh, what's the temperature today wherever you are? Please share with us. Otherwise, comrades, like the video, as I've said, circulate to your contacts, share with your friends, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Otherwise, Amanda, comrades.